Some state lawmakers and tribal leaders are frustrated tonight after Governor Kevin Stitt announces his plan to legalize sports betting in Oklahoma. Thanks for joining us here on the CW. I'm Tatum Gwynn. They say the governor hasn't made any attempts to include them in the planning of his proposal. News on 6's Lex Rodriguez joins us with why the governor says his plan is for the better interest of Oklahomans. Lex? Tatum, Governor Kevin Stitt says his plan isn't taking anything away from the tribes, but giving the ability to add to them, which he anticipates will generate more than $100 million in revenue per year. Choctaw Nation Chief Gary Batten is one of several parties with interest in bringing sports betting to Oklahoma. For more than 20 years, tribes have been operating casinos in the state, and that's why Batten says it's unfortunate the governor did not involve the tribal nations in his planning. In a statement following the announcement of Governor Kevin Stitt's sports betting plan, Batten says in part, the Choctaw Nation does not believe the plan represents the best interests for the people of Oklahoma or the tribal nations. The governor says with research about how more than 35 states across the U.S. operate gambling, his plan provides the most inclusive approach to sports betting, including generating appropriate fees paid to the state. We want to make sure that's transparent and uh, it's accountable and it pays market transactions. Just like a capital market and free system, anybody that wants to get into this industry can do it, and that's what happens in other states. However, the Oklahoma Indian Gaming Association says Oklahoma continues to benefit under our model compact at a rate that far exceeds any other state with an Indian Gaming Regulatory Act. A bill to add sports betting in Oklahoma will be considered by the Senate in February. But the governor says it does not allow mobile betting and encourages a monopoly on gambling within the tribes. We don't pick and choose. And when you pick and choose and the government tries to play favorites, that's when you have a bad system and it's not transparent and fair for the consumer. Lex Rodriguez, Oklahoma's own news.